in, in 760, uh, we've got it distilled down uh, so that you don't have to spend years of time. Uh, and so it really shortens that gap. And there's never a substitute for pure experience, but it, uh, in my, uh, speaking from personal experience, I've found that I've wasted so much time, maybe not wasted is the right word, I've spent so much time getting to the point where I can solve a problem. Uh, and I may have some, in some you know, side effect benefits of going through that process. I learned better programming, or I learned other obscure facts and understood other things that I might be able to use later. But I don't solve a problem at hand as quickly. And, and something like that, you know, uh, you know is, is really great in 760. It's a good, uh, a good selection of super advanced topics uh, that you would have to spend a lot of time doing on your own. Uh, the other things I like about uh, 760 is instead of it being pure theoretical exercises left to the reader, uh, we have a large number of exercises. A large portion of the whole course is, is exercises where they're very realistic. In, for example, we do a, a patch diffing day where we take a patch from Microsoft, break it apart, and, and look and see what they fixed so that we can develop an exploit for it. And it's a, it's a real thing. And uh, we look at, wow, this is uh, a great example of, of taking a patch and, and developing an exploit from it. And, and here's how we look at those uh, defensive controls that Microsoft has introduced to fix the problem. And here's why we don't care about them because they don't apply or how we avoid them entirely if it doesn't already avoid them. A and so I find that very, um, very valuable to me uh, because it's, it's real, not just theory, uh, practical, and um, there's, again, some stuff that would take a long, long period of time to learn on your own. We do some uh, driver exploit development, and that just takes a really long time to understand what's really happening uh, with Windows. There's so much legacy uh, ideas and components that it just, it takes just a huge amount of time to, to, to figure that out. So I like it the most that way. And it's just, it's nice to be able to say, well, we're looking at, at a modern day Windows when we do this, or, and Linux as well. Uh, it's not that we're saying, okay, in theory, we're gonna take this really old version of Linux or this really old version of Windows and this really, really old exploit from 20 years ago and, uh, and let's, let's exploit the kernel and call it advanced. It's like, no, this, this is modern Windows. It's not all about the latest build of Windows 10, uh, but um, we, we kind of find that sweet spot of something a modern OS has, like Windows um, Vista or later, it was a huge transition in Microsoft for security defenses at that point. And so we look at that, a lot of browser-based, uh, which is most of the attacks uh, that we, we tend to see uh, that are remote, uh, are done in the browser. A lot of moving parts there, a lot of dynamics, uh, which also means that, that Microsoft has done a lot of interesting things, for example, to protect the browser. So there's sandbox escape concerns and, and other things. Uh, so we get right to that point, right to the modern, this is where it is at literally today. Um, and uh, you know, now you've got the um, you know, skills and now you're equipped that you can take it to that further level. Um, we don't, unfortunately, you know, it's still a weak course, so some of this stuff takes months to, to work through. So obviously we don't do that to that extent, but, uh, I find that's probably the, the biggest value. When I look and see it, um, other uh, ways I might try to learn something, uh, I look at something and, and it's like, it's based off of a really old exploit that isn't really, I mean, there might be some value in doing that, but it's not as if it was modern. I mean, what's changed since then? I have to figure that out on my own. Um, so either self-study or, or taking a training, I've, I've seen a lot of those. And um, I'll also say too, a lot of them uh, that are advanced, they don't cover, uh, they'll either cover Windows or Linux or only browsers or something, and we just look at a nice sample of, of all of those. Uh, we take advantage of some of the Linux advanced exploits that we do, still being somewhat basic and relative to how they are on Windows, for example. And I haven't seen another course do that. Mm -hmm.